Hey, what's up guys? It's probably not maybe your favorite YouTuber here, and welcome to Will You Press the Button. Now, this is a Stay by Markiplier, a version of Would You Rather, which if you remember is you can choose one option or the other. Either way, it's going to change you a little bit. This one, however, ah, uh, sorry, computer fell asleep. This one, however, you can either choose to press the button, in which case something really cool will happen, but at the same time something really bad will happen. And you don't have to press the button, but if you don't press the button, then that just means that you keep on living your life as usual. So you have to decide, like, is the bad thing really worth having if you can have the good thing? Or should you just not take the risk? So for this one, you become the greatest player in your favorite sport, and you're unbeatable apparently, but you only make $25,000 a year if you choose to play professionally, though you can still have another occupation. Okay, well, uh, sorry guys, please don't rage in the comments, but I'm really not that much of a sports fan. I don't really know that much about sports. But, um, so... Uh... So I don't know what sport it would be, because I don't really have a favorite. Is $25,000 a year not a lot? Well, I mean, like, sure, if I can have another occupation, but, like, still, like, I can impress people because, like, I'm still, like, amazing at whatever sport I get. I'm still amazing at it, so I can impress but people, so sure. And I can just have a different occupation. Or if I need a few extra bucks, I can do to play professionally as well. You become excellent at anything you do. But you become a 3,000-year-old mummy? So what if you become a 3,000-year-old mummy and then you try to turn yourself into a human? It doesn't say that you're guaranteed to be perfect at it, just says you'll be excellent at it. I mean, sure, I can just become a 3,000-year-old mummy and then just, like, try to make myself not look like a mummy. I don't know. I feel guilty bending the rules. I mean, like, a 3,000-year-old mummy, I know those are guys wrapped in bandages. Are they, like, really, like, are they, like, bones or something? Uh, I'm not really an expert on mummies, so I'm not gonna press the button in this case. The majority decided not to, so I do get it. You have an amazing and seductive singing voice, but you can only sing, you may never talk, only sing to respond. Sure, I, I, I mean, why not? I mean, like, if you have, like, is like, it, is like, it like, such a good singing voice that anyone will just feel, like, so amazed to hear it? Because, like, the only thing that I can really think that anyone would feel bad about that is, like, you know, they might be embarrassed singing to everything. But, like, if your voice is really that good, then people might be like, wow, that's a really good singing voice, and not even think about the fact that you're singing to respond. Whoa, this was 50-50 split. Huh. Alright, next question. Alright, you can summon any drink you desire out of thin air, but you become an alcoholic. No. I can probably go to the quickie to get whatever drink I want. I have no plans to drink alcohol at all in my life. It gives you a false sense of happiness for a while, and then... Sometimes, if you become really drunk, and being an alcoholic is means that you're getting drunk all the time, by the way. If you're really drunk, then you can get out of control and you're doing things that you normally wouldn't want to do. And then what's even worse is that when, you're fi when it finally wears off, when, when you're finally cured, sometimes you completely forget everything that you did while you were drunk. So you're kind of just like, so sometimes you'll be in a place and you'll have no idea where you are or how you got there because all those answers lie in the memories of the version of you that was drunk. So no. No, I'm not becoming an alcoholic. Whoa, a lot- 41% of people decided to hit it. Wow. Okay then. You have an unbreakable iPod with unlimited storage, but you have the full discograph- You have the full discographics to every artist and- Sure, I just won't listen to them. I just won't listen to them. That's easy to fix. You become the most talented person ever for one thing, but you will lose every other talent. No, no, like, it doesn't need, this is, a, don't fall for this. It's, you have to read it very carefully. It's not even telling that you can choose what you want to be talented at. You could be talented at, like, eating slugs or something. Don't fall for that. That was stupid. Movies are real events that you can experience as a character. But you always are the most annoying, stupid character that no one likes. No, no. No, no. No. Being annoying is a very bad feeling. I know, like, uh, in grade six especially, I'm kind of partially being known for the annoying kid. 
but th- th- there are a lot of kids in my school who like me, but there are a lot who don't like me. Particularly three. And those three, if they're watching this video, they know who they are. You can re- So, yeah, so, you three, you can- I don't know. I, I don't want to say anything mean, because then once they watch this, and the next time they see me, they're going to be like, blah, blah, blah. You can relive any day or night you want. Oh, man. I could relive that Friday. Uh, and it's a long story. But you would have diarrhea. <laughs> you would have diarrhea. That, that, that's how, you know how sometimes when you're sick, you kind of, you, your poop is kind of like in a liquid form? And it, it kind of looks like brown pee in the toilet? Uh, sure. I mean, like, I don't know. Like, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're sick. I, I have di- I poop out diarrhea all the time, even when I'm not sick. So, I can relive any day or night that I want. Does that mean that, like, it'll randomly be coming out, or just, like, s at some point in the day it's going to be different because you have to run to the bathroom to poop? Uh, well, I mean, like, I, I've had a lot of good days, so, sure, I, I don't see why not. Wow, it's almost a 50-50 split. You would be allowed to go back in time, but you can never return to your previous year ever again. To your previous year. Does it mean this year ever again? I don't know. It doesn't say that you can go forward in time. But wait, it doesn't say that you can go forward in time. So whenever you go back in time, do you have to wait for you to catch up to the present? So then what happened? But then you'd eventually get to your previous year. So would you just kind of skip over that? The, 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 major, the majority of my past year has been this school year, which... There are a lot of things last year that I want to change. But not pressing the button isn't going to fix any of that. I, I have a lot of things before the previous year that I want to change too, so sure, I'll press the button. Anyway, next. You're the smartest person in the world, but you're ugly. Uh, I'm pretty smart myself, and... Yeah, I, I, won't, I won't press the button. I won't press the button. Press the button. I'm, I'm, I'm smart enough. You will sound like Ma Max Payne. Who's that? I could think of metaphors on a whim, but you ha have to have a dumb smirk on your face with your eyes squinted as far as you can, apparently. No thanks. No thanks. I don't even know who Max Payne is. You will be any game, and you will be in any game. Sorry, I thought I said you will be any game. I was like, what? Okay, you will be in any game and be a new minor character. But you can only live once per story before returning to the real world. No response. Sure, it's something. I mean, like, it's something. I mean, like, I mean, I, I see a lot of people playing these games, and it's like, you can do this, but unfortunately, it's not exactly what you want. And then everyone's just like, oh, okay, well, then I'm skipping that. B but you still get something. At least I can still be in any game I want. You will become invisible at your command. Ooh, every child's dream. But... Every con every content in your body that is not necessary every con content in your body that is not necessary for your health, such as feces, urine, and stomach content, will fall unpleasantly through your invisible body, giving yourself out. Well that would mean that the only way that you would be able to stay invisible is if you don't drink or eat anything. And then for like days. So like I, I could like like still I, I, still my like, same rule it's 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 something it's something I can like just make myself invisible but like like say if I'm trying to hide behind something but like my head or my foot sticking out there's no urine or poop in there so I can like, just make myself invisible and then they won't be able to see that so sure I'll press the button it's something also like maybe maybe like you could try and gross your enemies out. Making them kind of stunned for a little bit when they see you, because like I'm assuming it's pretty gross di digesting food. Your hair wouldn't get greasy, but you would have no nails. No, no, I like my nails. You get a 10 out of 10 body and face, but you will feel tired, but will never sleep. Well, I mean, never sleeping would be awesome, because you would have all the time in the world. Like, like, me trying to upload at the rate of two videos a week on average, like, there are times when I'm just like, uh -huh. Four o'clock, I've got to go to bed at like, nine or whatever, to, and I've got like, homework that i got to do, but I don't want to do it right now because I want to finish doing the Big Bang Theory. Not having to sleep 
would be like an extra seven or ten. Do you still need to sleep though? Because the human body can only last ten days without sleeping, so... Or does it mean that you're fine? Well, like, feeling tired can sometimes feel good, I guess. Never having to sleep will give you like an extra seven to ten hours, depending on how much you sleep, for every night, for the rest of your life. Hi, Smidge. That's my cat. You can create the perfect spouse, that that's uh, like a romantic partner, like a girlfriend or a boyfriend. You both are immortal and live a perfect life, but you can never see two friends of your choice again. Well, like when they say friends, I think best friends. Really, I can only really... Because I'm not really sure if I really have a best friend. I certainly have friends. If I live a perfect life, it's if it's a per... Immortality can suck, I know, but if it's a perfect life, then... Supposedly, I'll never get tired of in my immortality. So, if it's a perfect life, then I'm sorry, guys. Look, see, 18% did not. So, ha! If you're gonna say, like, oh, you're a bad person, stuff like that, well, you have to say this to 82% of people. You have no pain whenever you want, so basically all the time. But, your whole body is in a cast and cannot move at all for the rest of your life. No! Who would press it? Wait, who would... I thought that was 79% who did. 79% did not. 9,000 people decided to press that button? Jeez. You can fly, but you can't walk. Sure, I can just like, I can just like hover a little bit off the ground. I can like scare people. Sure, I wanna fly. Everybody unconditionally loves you, but you have a highly contagious skin disease. Ah, crap. I mean, it's unconditional love, but, like, could I be satisfied enough? Yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied enough with what I got. I'm, I'm satisfied enough with what I got. I will not press that button. Getting the ability to fly like Superman, but it costs $50,000 and you can only fly one totally nude. Well, I would probably never, ever, ever use it, but my rule, it is something. Maybe like, the, maybe like the whole world's gonna be in danger and the only way to save it is by me giving up $50,000 so that I can like fly up to their spaceship and do something and I have to be totally naked. It's something. It's a, it's a gang. It's not a great gang. It's not even a good gang, but it's a gang. Anyone you meet instantly falls in love with you, so I'm assuming that that includes men and women. Does that include animals too? But that includes family and people that you hate. Oh, I get it, I get it. Okay, first off, first off, if you... Wait! Okay, ahem. I really need to think about this. Okay, instantly falls in love with you. Falling in love is a really strong thing that happens inside of you. And, like, there is a difference between just having a crush and falling in love. It is possible for you to actually just fall in love with someone at first sight. But, pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time, it's just a crush. A crush is when you want to be in a relationship with someone. However, like, a month or so after you start dating, you're gonna start kind of fading a little bit. You're, you're gonna feel a little bit less attracted to them, and you're gonna think, like, I don't really want to be with this person anymore. If you're in love, then supposedly, you would want to be with them forever. And being rejected by some- being rejected by a crush is bad, but being rejected by someone who you're in love with can really hurt. And I'm not really sure if I want to hurt that many people. That includes family and people that you hate. Well, having family fall in love with you... Ah, oh, man. And people that you hate- well, I mean, like, people that you hate, that's not really a loss, really. Oh, people that you hate. I thought it meant, like, people that hate you. Then again, like, people that you hate, you can make them fall in love with you, and then you can say, like, oh, I'll be yours if you do this, and then th you can get them to do some pretty humiliating stuff and get back at them. But, I will not do that. I will not... But, like, that can mean that, like, anyone who I ever have a crush on can instantly be with just by meeting them. But if it means that anyone who ever sees me will, will have their heart broken, no, no, I will not. I, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. You will be able to master every video game, but you can only play games that people say. Okay, I'm sorry, that last one really got to me. Okay, well, let me just do this one and then I'll stop. You will be able to master every video game, but you can only play games that people say are good and not what you say. Master every video game? No. No, no, what's the point of me YouTubing then? 
If I'm a master at every single video game, then there's not... Many people just watch the videos just to see people fail at video games, so... I kinda just be ruining my YouTube career right there. Or half of it. Only half of my videos are gaming. So, no, I will not press the button. Alright. So, I guess that's it for now. I'll come back to this game eventually. Yeah, let me look at this one. You will receive $20, but you will never be able to use this website again. Uh, no, I already have $20. Alright, I will not. Okay. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like so that I know that you enjoyed it. And if you didn't like it, please leave a dislike so that I know that you didn't enjoy it. Leave a comment down below if you liked it. Tell me why, because it feels awesome to get some motivation. It honestly does. And if you didn't like it, leave a comment down below telling me how I can improve for next time or I won't be able to improve. And what's the point of me treat, treating your dislike as a dislike if you're not helping me? To t I'm okay with you disliking my videos, but like, if you're not going to tell me like how to make them better, if you're not going to tell me how to improve, I'm just going to treat your dislike like it's a like. I got like 12 likes and 2 dislikes on a video, I treat it as if I have 14 likes, because those two people who disliked my video didn't bother to tell me what they didn't like about it. And subscribe so I know when my next video comes out. Thanks again so much for watching, and as always, I will see you next time. Bye bye You get five fifty thousand dollars a month for life, but you get raped once a week for life. You're a highly respected cook who has just- oh, what's a I guess that's a really good cook. Who had just- You will be a famous actor, but you can only act in, uh, I'm skip- I'm- I'm, uh, I'm supposed to say not.